Hi folks, Mike Murphy and today's quick tip is an Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a simple animation from a texture file or any background layer to give a nice effect for your animations or stop motion or just to make a simple animated GIF. First, create a new Photoshop document by going to File, New, or use the keyboard shortcut Command N. I use the standard 1920 by 1080 pixels, but you can use any size document that you want. In the background contents, I kept this as transparent. Click Create. And now we have a blank Photoshop document. Next, drag any texture file or whatever you want to use for your background into your Photoshop document. I'm going to hit Return to Commit, and then I'm going to turn this layer into a smart object. That way I could replace it later if I wanted to. So I'm just going to Control click or right click right on the layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. I'm going to delete the bottom layer because I don't need it. Next, we need to scale up the texture layer. To do so, go to the Edit menu and choose Free Transform or use the keyboard shortcut Command T. Hold the Option key and scale out proportionally from the center. We want the texture layer of the background to be much bigger than the canvas. Because we're going to be animating this, we don't want any transparency to show through, so we want plenty of room that we can move this all around. That looks good right there. I'll zoom out just so you can see the difference here. There's the background layer. You can see it's much bigger than the canvas size. Now it is time to animate the background texture layer. To do so, we need to open up the timeline. Go to Window, Timeline. Click on this little drop down arrow and select Create Frame Animation. Then click right in the middle of the button, Create Frame Animation. Next, we're just going to duplicate this frame a few times. If I go back to the original one here, you see here I had six frames. So let's do the same. It really doesn't matter, but I'm going to go ahead and click on this button right here. You'll see here it says Duplicate Selected Frames. I'm just going to click one, two, three, four, five. So now I have six frames, just like the original. All we are going to do to animate the background is change the position of the texture file on each frame. Make sure you have the Move tool selected. Tap on the letter V for the Move tool, or you can click on it up here in the toolbar. We'll leave the first frame the same. Go ahead and click on the second frame, and all we're going to do is simply move the background layer. You can move it anywhere you want, to the side, you can move it up, you can move it down. Remember, we made it much bigger, so we have plenty of room here. We don't want to show any background layer, so just move it anywhere you want. I'm just going to move it to the left. And to help you see where the position of the texture file is, just use Command T and look for the anchor point. You'll see it's over here on the left. If I go back to that first frame, you'll see it's right in the center. With the Move tool selected V, click on the third frame and just move the background layer anywhere randomly. Click on the fourth frame. Maybe we'll move it down to the right a little bit. Click on the fifth frame. Maybe move it down to the left. And click on the sixth frame, and we'll just move it randomly. To preview your animation, just tap on the space bar or click on the play button down here. And there you have an animated background. It's moving very fast, which may be the look that you want. But to slow it down, just select the first layer, hold the shift key, and click on the last one. Now they're all selected. You're going to click on this little drop down here. It's currently set to zero second delay, which is the fastest. So let's click on this. I found 0.4 worked pretty well, so I'm just going to select it, click on Other, tap on 0.4, maybe 0.35, click OK, hit the spacebar, and just like that, you have an animated background. To render out your texture backgrounds, you can use it in any video project. Just go up to the File menu, choose Export, Render Video, give it a location to save, H.264, 1920, 1080 pixels is great. Click render and you're good to go. My name is Mike Murphy and that is how you animate a background texture layer. Cheers.